a shalom akim giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rachach Wadash and of course double honor to the apostles bishops and elders of great millstone shalom to the elect that's who these lessons are for now this is a uh, GMS Virginia these brothers page and um, as you can see this demon vocab you know uh Malone, he's out there pretty much trying to, you know, come up against the gospel, man, which he has been set up, you know what I'm saying, to come up against this thing, man, all right? He's pretty much an agent, all right? So, really, in my mind, it really don't make no no sense going up against this guy, you know, uh, uh, the so-called debating with this guy, trying to teach him nothing, but in the same token... We have to defend the gospel, all right, which is what these brothers, you know, were doing. You see what I'm saying? And this guy, he he's on a real low level. He doesn't understand the scriptures. You know, like I said, he's just set up. So I'll play a few, uh, I'll play a little bit of this video here. Yeah, so the brother was, you know, asking him a biblical question, and he was coming with his bullshit, man, you know? And um, what it reminds me of is when you go into, not this, uh, you go into the book of Ezra, you know, uh, 4 and 1, it reads, Now when the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin heard that the children of the captivity builded the temple unto the Lord power of Israel... They came to Zerubbabel and to the chief of the fathers and said unto them, Let us build with you, for we seek your power as ye do. And we do sacrifice unto him since the days of uh, Esar Hadun, king of Assur, which brought us up hither. But Zerubbabel and Yeshua and the rest of the chief of the fathers of Israel said unto them, Ye have nothing to do with us to build an house unto our power, but we ourselves together will build unto the Lord power of Israel, as King Cyrus, the king of Persia, had commanded us, which that was put into writing. Okay? And this is the time when, uh, you know, we, you know, started back to build a physical temple but now see it's a um it's a spiritual temple being built and you have certain heathens just like going back then that are trying to uh frustrate the efforts of israel but you cannot frustrate the efforts of israel at this particular time in history because everything that's happening is spiritual all right and uh what's this i think it's amos 9 uh let me read down So I can build me for a moment. Is it Amos 9? Let me see. Yeah, it is 9. Okay, Amos 9 and 11. It says, In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen. Now, is that talking about an actual uh, tabernacle? An actual house? A physical you know structure no it's talking about the brothers that are in this uh truth of ours man okay and yahweh shai is that chief cornerstone now like i said you have 
certain people that are set up to frustrate our efforts. But nonetheless, like the scriptures say, if this be of the most high, then it will stand, man. All right. And, it, and it's standing right now, man. That's why the scriptures say, and they stood up on their feet an exceeding great army. That is the tabernacle that was falling. It begins with the nation first. All right. The nation of people. So you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American men out there on the highways and byways teaching this word, you make up the tabernacle of David that was fallen. Uh, it says, and close up the breaches thereof. Meaning what? All the um, the differences amongst, you know, the, the tribes and whatnot. Because when you go back to the time of kings, you had uh, a split in the nation. A split in the kingdom, so to speak, but not so to speak. It was a split in the kingdom between the Negroid tribes and the uh, Latino uh, tribes and the indigenous tribes. Um, they became the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom. So there was a separation there. Now, right now, what the Heavenly Father is doing is bringing everybody back together. That's why you have brothers from different tribes coming back to the fold. And even, you know, that that are not among you know great millstone you can see that these different camps they also have the so-called negroes so-called latinos native americans you know coming back and remembering that they're israelites all right but the tabernacle of david are the men that are, are sincere and truly in this truth man it says and close up the breaches thereof and i will raise up his ruins and will build it as in the days of old all right so that's what's happening, man. And the tabernacle is uh, the, the chief house, man. So this is really going into the elect. And when you read about the elect, it's 144,000, you know, prophets, teachers, you know what I'm saying, apostles. And they make up that 144,000, the governing body, which are all men. You read about that in Revelation, the seventh chapter. Okay, so, you know, so let's go back to Ezra, you know, four, and it reads down, then the people of the land weakened the hands of the people of Judah and troubled them in building and hired counselors against them to frustrate their purpose all the days of Cyrus, king of Persia, even until the day, Salaki, even until the reign of Darius, king of Persia, and in the reign of Ahasuerus, or Xerxes, in the beginning of his reign, wrote they unto him an accusation against the inhabitants of Judah and Jerusalem. And in the days of Artaxerxes, wrote Bisham, Mithridath, Tab Tabiel and the rest of the companies unto Archaxerxes, Artaxerxes, king of uh, Persia, and the writing of the letter was written in this uh, Syrian tongue and interpreted in the Syrian tongue, and you could read on, so on and so forth, man. All right, so just like you know, you see vocab in this video, which vocab is not deep. Okay, he cannot go into Daniel's second chapter. He's he's what an, ap an apologetic. Listen, man, just because you have some kind of degree from some, you know, you know, theological school it does not make you a man of the Lord. All right. Okay, you are you are an agent. Okay. And more than likely you a goddamn heathen anyway, man. You ain't no Israelite, man. All right. Give no praises to you, how about Shimmy, I'm sorry about Shimmy, Krakow, that's Shalom.